Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Naturally Kimmy. Uh, today, I got my sister here, Just Miss J. Uh, please go subscribe to her channel. Uh, today, we're going to do a, what is it? Best friends. Best friends. Sister Tag. Um, you're probably going to hear my daughter back there calling out, the, uh, call out our little questions or whatever. So, let's jump into it. All right. So, if you could have one superpower for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, mine would be to read minds because I'm nosy like that. So I just want to know what people thinking. Superpower? Yeah, read minds. Even though I feel like I can sometimes. Yeah, read minds. Yeah. What's a country that you would really wish to go to? Ireland. I ain't traveling, so don't worry about it. And I only <laughs> I only picked Ireland because we found out that in our lineage, our DNA, whatever you want to call it, that we have some Irish in us on our mama's side from her dad. So, yeah, Ireland. And I heard it's nice and green over there. So, Ireland. Mm. I ain't traveling, so it don't matter. What's one of your favorite clothing brands? In high school, it was Tommy Hilfiger. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I had the Tommy, I was Tommy'd out. So in high school, it was Tommy Hilfiger. Then in college, it was Hollister. Mixed with Aeropostale, but it was definitely Hollister because they were the only place where the jeans fit me because they came in short. But as an adult? Does Walmart count? Fashion over. Fashion over. <laughs> I own the Sheen, Sheen, whatever it's called. Fashion Nova. If it ain't Walmart or Fashion Nova. Rainbow. Rainbow. Sometimes Family Dog. Like, I don't have one. Like, I don't have one. Penny's a store. That's not a brand. That's a but store. Whatever. I ain't got So Walmart is a store. Is a store. That's not a brand either. So I guess I don't count either. There's this true something. So no, I don't know. Oh, true. Uh, oh, yeah. Something I mean, to talk about. But at, in high school. Tommy Hilfiger, that's where it was at. And Hollister in college. What's a weird or disgusting habit that you still haven't grown out of? Um, Weird or disgusting habit? I really don't want to share mine, but like, you know when like your hands peel, I like to pick that. So I'll pick mine and if I'm with somebody else and their hand is peeling, I will take their hand and I'll hold it and I'll peel it and they looking at me crazy, but to me, it's satisfying. Um, and sometimes your feet peel. I really don't want to share this, but I, I I pick mine. I haven't grown out of it. And picking scabs. Scabs. See if it bleeds. That's mine. I pick it till it bleeds. And then once it bleeds, the, I'm the like, oh, keep, man. It's going to keep bleeding. No, I can't, do, no I can't pick it no more because it's all started bleeding. So, yeah. So, yeah, picking scabs. But picking with your hand and feet peel, picking it. And blackheads. Popping blackheads. I ain't grown That's out of nice. this. That's real nasty, but... But picking feet nasty or something. I ain't touching nobody's feet. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't touch feet. nobody else's feet. I just touch uh, my own. I don't like but feet. your hand, I'm going to peel your hand with your hand. Yes. Ugh. What would one of your most memorable arguments be? Mm. Ooh. Um, me and my sister went to Walmart. It wasn't recent, but we went to Walmart. She ain't about to tell this story. And she was getting on my nerves. I think I was getting on hers. And so we in the car. And um, she was like, get out. And I was like, get out. I was like, you want to put me out. And then I thought I was going to stab her with this pen. I had a pen in my purse. So I was like, and she looked at me like, really? Your own sister? And I was like, look, at this point, it's self-defense. But like, we had got into it. She was going to put me out. We was at the airport, Walmart, in Columbus. If you're from Columbus, you know. We was at that Walmart. And she was going to put me out and make me walk all the way back to South Columbus. Yeah. I'll never forget that one. Mine is when we were younger, we were kids. And we were fighting over a remote. I know you're TV. not telling that one. <laughs> we were fighting over a remote to the TV. And, you know, we were tussling or whatever. We was not tussling. You was tussling by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and then Melissa didn't get a hit. And I knocked her glasses off her face. They went flying. She did. And I uh, I hit, and I, I put a hole and in, I the, told, in the front I, door. And I told our older sister, I said, come get her. Don't get me. She knocked my glasses off. And I couldn't see a thing. I was, I was over it. And she, an older sister, just standing there like, "What am I supposed to?" Do? My glasses, girl. Find my glasses. I can't see. 
Hey, glasses ain't you, cheap. You would tell that one. Glasses ain't cheap, y'all. And I don't advise nobody to do that. Don't do that. Tell us we was tussling. <laughs> Which sister jokes around more? Mm, cause it's, cause actually it's three of us, but out of the two of us, I don't say it's 50, 50 on now. Cause we both, uh, I'm the sillier one. Okay. So maybe I joke around more. Okay. I'll let you have it. Cause I do some silly, unnecessary stuff. I'll so let I'll you take it. it. If one were to get arrested, would you bail them out or sit beside them? I'm going to be honest. I ain't doing neither because um, I'm not going to jail. So Kim got to take the fall by herself. Not bailing out. I ain't going to bail her out either. Yeah, okay. First I'm lying. No, no, no. I'm going to bail her out. I'll bail her out, but nah. Yeah, I bail out. I bail out, but I'm not sitting in there with her. I am not going to be sitting beside her. Whatever she did, she deserved to get up in there, first Whatever of all. Whatever she did, she did it. <laughs> and then I'll bail you out, and then we're going to laugh about Whatever it. Whatever she said, she did, she did it, but I'm going to bail out. Right. Before my mama find out she was there. If she find out. What's your favorite store? I don't like to shop in stores because it's too many people, and I'm not a people person. But I go to Walmart a lot. Walmart. Walmart. No, I take that back. My favorite store is at home store. Walmart. <laughs> she ain't lying. I live up, I, hey, look, I live up the street from a Walmart, so Walmart. Which was your favorite, your mom or your dad? Mom. Mom. Don't get it twisted. Our parents are still married, but <laughs> and for a long time when we were in school, people always thought that we just had a mom. We didn't have no dad, but we got we got both yeah. together. They've been together for forty plus years. So yeah, so don't yeah. get it twisted. But mom just we talked to her more. What's your biggest celebrity crush? Male or female? Mm, it doesn't matter. Oh, hey, you gotta ask these questions. <laughs> um, it ch my has ch Morris Chestnut. That's a fine man right there. That's, That's a, a fine specimen right there. That's a fine chocolate man. I don't. Uh, I don't have a. Mm. No, I take that back. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Right. That's a fine Samoan man. Yes. Yes. I watch all his movies, even though he played the same role in every one. But I just do just to throw it out there. First female crush I ever had was the brat. She cute. She cute. And her face she be beat. Her face be beat. I don't care. She dressed nice too. I yes. like her. She cute. But I, I wear her on the rock though. Dwayne, the rock Johnson. Get it right. Okay. Did you ever have a favorite stuffed animal? If so, what did you name it? Yes, I had this clown. His name was Elbow, well, his name was Elmo. I called him Elbow. I never corrected it. My parents finally told me that was his name was not Elbow. But my mama threw it in the trash when I started school. I didn't have one. Unless you know one. But I don't think I had one. You didn't have one. I did. No. But it was a clown. It was like this white. But yeah, she doesn't like clowns. No, I don't. Crazy. What's one of your go-to dance moves? Oh, the two step. <laughs> well, that's mine. I don't know if I'm Kim. Cha cha slide. Slide to the left. <laughs> slide to the right. <laughs> what hop this time? <laughs> What's your favorite food? Chicken. Chicken, but I. I have to say this, excuse the noise upstairs. Like I told y'all in my other story, my story time, my neighbors is just rude and disrespectful, so I'm sorry. But, yeah, she ain't lying. But yeah, back to the, back to the question. Chicken. Chicken. Fried. Bait. Rotisserie. Ball. <laughs> Barbecue. <laughs> 
Remember pepper? Hot. <laughs> <laughs> Honey barbecue. <laughs> Sweet and sour. <laughs> cats or dogs? Neither. Dogs. I don't like cats. They're sneaky. I don't like neither one. Keep, keep your little pesky dog and cat at your house. And when I go over there, lock the thing up. <laughs> I'm not coming in your house till you lock it up. I'm not coming in there. Your cat, figure out where you want to put him. I don't care if you got to scratch up the whole house. He got to go to. Your dog, lock it up. Cat, put it in the little cage swing, the bathroom. I don't care where you got to put Roscoe. Lock him up. Just your dad Roscoe. <laughs> okay. Lock it up because I'm not coming in. You, you'll have to come to my house every time. Lock up your little pets. What's one of your favorite places to travel? Florida. Yeah. Florida. We used to go there a lot. Pensacola. Pensacola. Beach. That's where yep. we used to go a lot. I want to go back. Yes. And it's been years. Mm -hmm. So that might be a sister trip. Or a vacation. Whatever. Speaking of, would you ever go on a trip with each other? If so, how would it go? Yes, we could go on a trip together. We probably will be okay when we first get there. But I, I promise you, we're going to get into it some, somewhere down the line. She's going to get on my nerves after about two hours. She's I'm going to be ready for her nerves. to go. She That's why we're going to have to ride by herself. I'm going to be ready for her to go. And then we might argue. But we're going to argue because we can't figure out. We can't, we can't agree on a full place of where we're going to go eat. And if it's too crowded, I'm going to be ready to go. Right. So it, it's going to go like it normally does. It's going to be hot or cold, but we're going to have a good time. What's the definition of this date? Because um, I ain't been on the date. Hold on. <laughs> What's an embarrassing date I went on? With like someone I dated? Mm -hmm. Embarrassing? <sighs> like, did it, did it go wrong? Did anything happen? Was Leading something... up to the date, yes. Because he thought I wanted to go and eat at this steak place. And I don't even eat stuff like that. But we ended up sitting there, but I was so uncomfortable. I was like, you got me dressed up just to sit at a steakhouse? Like, out back or some shit? I mean, <laughs> like, made me go out and get this cute dress, and then you look at how you looking. Like, no. I was mad about it. So, I, okay, so what you said is, he looked like he was dressed to go to Burger King. You looked like he was dressed to go to, like, uh, he looked like all the guard. He looked like he was dressed to go to Applebee's. <laughs> Two for two? And had me to go and get this dress. So I go get this dress. I went and got the dress like the day of like going to this date. So, and I guess it was supposed to be for my birthday. First of all, I don't even eat steak. She don't. So why are we going to Outback Longhorn? Wherever we went to, like, bruh, I don't eat that. You know I eat chicken fingers and fries. We all go on dates. Exactly. <laughs> like you just said. We could have went to American Deli. Like, why are you taking me to, in this dress, this cute dress? And then, I was ready to go home. Like, I found something on the menu. I didn't even really want it. I found something on the menu just to shut him up. He was like, we can leave. And I was like, nah, we already here. We're going to sit here. Like, I sat there with an attitude the whole time. Looked at the waitress. Like, you can go ahead and bring me my food. Take it back. I don't care what you got to do. Hurry up and get this date over with. I was looking at her like, rush this whole date so we can go. I can't say I've been on an embarrassing date. I, I, I ain't really been on dates like that. So, I can't really say I've been on an embarrassing date. But I've been on dates where I just knew I wanted to leave. I just felt like it was embarrassing because why am I sitting here with my nice dress on and you got on like one of those... You got a coat shirt. No! <laughs> you He got on one of those look like a picnic table shirt. Like them buffalo plaid. Like the black and... Like you know how you got you had the black and the red? His was like blue and black. And then he had on like some black pants. And I don't, I don't remember what kind of shoes he had on because like I was that bad. So... And I got on my nice little black dress with gold in it. Like... <clears throat> Send me home. You probably had on heels too. I did. Oh yeah. Nah. I could have wore blue jeans and a tank top with a <laughs> with a with a leather jacket and some tennis shoes. I could have had on my Converse. Embarrassing me like that. Right. Next question. I don't even want to think about that no more. <laughs> right. Come on with it. If you could eat only one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Chicken. What? what? <laughs> chicken because you can bake it fry it boil it barbecue it flip it dip it i mean <laughs> i could 
go with her. Yeah, yeah, chicken. yeah, yeah. Chicken, chicken, most definitely. And yeah. honorable mention, pizza. Honorable <laughs> mention, pizza. Okay. What does your dream life look like? I don't have to work and I get paid just for existing. Well, she said, because work 10 out of 10 won't recommend. <laughs> nah. What would you do tomorrow if you won a million dollars today? Quit. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to send my lawyer to go pick up my millions and I'm going to be out. <laughs> I Kim won't I Kim will not be in Georgia. And I won't have a cell phone, so nobody will be able to reach me. I'm gonna be gone. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Next. Who's the most overrated celebrity? Kardashians. LeBron James. Kardashians. <laughs> Kardashians. LeBron James. <laughs> I'll let her have that. Yeah. Steph Curry. Dwayne Wade, but Michael B. Jordan. But the but one celebrity, he, he's he's overrated. But he ugly too. But Very one celebrity, ugly. we. I like the Kardashians. I like them too, but but they on. are they they are overrated. So we'll go with that one. And LeBron James. <laughs> what do you want people to say about you at your funeral? You know, I, she was lit. <laughs> you you know. <laughs> All jokes aside, I honestly think about this for real. Like what people would say. I'm not crazy. It's just because I'm very so very much introverted and don't have a lot of friends. So I do think about that. And I would like for them to say that she was a caring individual and was always there for you if you needed anything or if you needed someone to talk to. Because honestly, naturally, I am that type of person. Like if you need someone to talk to, I'm here. But most people do not entertain that offer but i would like for people to say she was a very caring individual yes she had an attitude but if you needed a shoulder to lean on she there for you basically what she said basically what she said right now is what she want me to go what she she want me to say at her funeral no nah, because she's not gonna say that but i'm giving her the blueprint so i that like basically say i'm gonna tell y'all how it really is I'm a caring individual, and if you need anything, if I have it, I'll give it to you. Now, if I don't, you're not getting it. But sometimes it is, she do got it. She ain't giving it. But I'm there for you if you need a shoulder to cry on. After she tell you how she feel. Because I'm going to. What do you, how do you want people to, what do you want people to say about you and your funeral? And don't say she lit. You got to be serious. I want people to start saying that I'm mean, that I am mean, because that is not true. Like, I'm so the nicest person you will ever meet. Y'all see how she looking over there? You see her? I am the nicest person you will ever meet. Chuck, don't do that. I will get the shirt off my back. Legit. <laughs> <laughs> like for real. I do I I will give you my last. Like for real. I I will give you whatever you need. I so she telling you. me what to say at her funeral too. But mine is not a, mine is not a lie though. Mine not either. Next. <laughs> <laughs> what is something people would never guess just by looking at you? That we're sisters. That I'm nice. What's your favorite thing about yourself? Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that question should not be that hard. Uh, my favorite thing about myself. Mhm. Mm I'm cute. Look at me. Cocky much. Favorite thing about myself. My eyes. Oh, something like that. Um, <laughs> um, it's conceited over here. Can it be like personality? Yep. My personality is very... I like my personality. Because most people would not even... Yeah, we, we don't even get to see that side. But my personality is what I like about me. I can have a good time by myself. And she do. And does. With her microphone. And wine. <laughs> What's the most annoying thing people do in public? Talk on speakerphone. Yes. Oh, my God. Turn that mess off. Put on some headphones. Tell them I'll call you later. Do something. Like, I don't want to know... 
what your baby daddy, baby mama, all that did before you got there. Or what you finna do with your sneaky link when y'all link up. I don't need to know that. Like, mm-mm. Girl, they gotta go get this wax. Mm. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call you back. Oh, and another thing, not just talking on speakerphone. When they be on Bluetooth in the car in the parking lot and you can hear the man talking to the woman in the car and you sitting there like, who outside talking? You're like, oh, they in the car because the lady be smiling the whole time. And you like, um, girl, get you some headphones. Like, we don't need to hear him saying what he finna do when y'all link up. Like, I don't... Bluetooth is... I know Bluetooth is to keep you Bluetooth safe. Bluetooth connected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know Bluetooth is to keep you safe when you're driving so you can drive hands-free. But we don't but need to hear it. When we in the Walmart parking lot, baby, I don't need to hear what y'all saying in there. That's just like being on speakerphone. I don't need to hear what y'all saying on speakerphone in Walmart in the checkout. Like, tell them, hey, I'm at checkout. I'm going to call you back. Or tell them, hold on, hold on right quick. And then mute it. And then, so they're not still talking. Well, you only muting you. But tell them to mute their side of the phone. And then text them when they can unmute, like I do with my sisters. Like, well, I'm going to tell you, look, I'm going to mute. Or you can mute. Like, I'm doing something. Like, speakerphone and Bluetooth. Worst worst thing you can do. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to see y'all kissing in public either. I don't see somebody getting a whole slob down in the car, <laughs> in the parking lot. And I was in that traffic light. I'm like, bro, you ain't even got to the windows. Like, calm down, shot. Calm you, a whole, you had a whole fishbowl bowl. Y'all just there. got through eating Chinese food or something. Y'all was eating like her breast steak. Like, calm I down. You ain't no onions or garlic. Calm down. Ugh. Next. <laughs> <laughs> this could go left. Come on. If you were elected as president of the United States, what would be your first thing to do? First of all, I don't even want to I'm wiping out um, student loans. I'm, I'm cleaning it out because... um. I'm tired of looking at mine. So I'm going to clean out everybody's student loans. We Kim clearing it out. Kim ain't even going to be elected, baby. Uh -uh. We clearing it out, but I'm, I, they probably not going to vote for me either. Uh -uh. If you could change your name, what would you choose? Melanie. If I could change my name? Mm-hmm. Melanie. People think that's my name anyway. Melanie Michelle or Michelle Melanie. One of... Some rendition of that, because that's what people think my name is anyway. I personally, I'm gonna change my name. No. If you could trade places with anyone for a day, whether it be someone you know or a celebrity, who would it be and why? Somebody who's rich. I like my life. I don't want. I don't want to trade. See, places okay, let, let me put it this way. I don't want to trade my life, but I just want to be. I want to be able to live like a rich person. But still have my life at the same. Mm -mm. I don't want to trade my life with a celebrity because I don't need all that paparazzi following me around. Because I'm, mm -mm. and then I don't want to trade my life with the rich person because I don't, I don't know what kind of. I just want my bills paid. I'm sorry. Baggage you got. I keep mine. I get my bills paid. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Next. Next. What artist do you listen to when you're trying to hype yourself up? Future. Migos. 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 Rest Migos. take off. But future Migos. Migos Definitely. all day. Cardi. Yeah, Cardi, Megan Stallion. Mm -hmm. City Girls. I ain't a City Girl fan. Mm -mm. But definitely future and Migos. The top two. Cardi, Megan, and Migos. That's you, it. Do you prefer sweet or savory foods? Sweet. Both. Mm. What's your favorite season? Or which one do you like the most? Fall. Fall. Hmm. Not too hot, not too cold. Just right. And then my birthday is in the fall. And my favorite holiday. I don't think we asked. Okay. <laughs> the followers wouldn't know. Subscribers wouldn't know. Y'all know who y'all are. What's one movie or TV quote that's stuck in your head forever? She doesn't even let go here. <laughs> you can't sit with us. <laughs> That's why you're a 16 year old virgin. <laughs> what is that? Oh. Right. <laughs> That's why I said, never mind. And think about it. My bad. What was the scariest moment of your life? Girl, I almost died. Let me tell y'all about it. So. I was with some friends, right? And I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. And the house started, and they started shooting up the house. 
And this is two days before my birthday. I thought I wasn't going to see my birthday that year. Where was you at? Girl. Oh, I have to. Yeah. What was the question? <laughs> Scariest moment of your life. Oh. See, I don't go nowhere, so uh, I, I I can't answer that question. Hmm. If you were an animal, what would you be? Nothing. I want to be an animal. Which one of the animals weigh a lot and they can they can harm folks if they like step on them? An elephant? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my way. Hmm. Have you ever stolen anything? <gasps> nope. Nope. No one. Hmm. Would you rather travel back in time or forward? Back. Back. Hmm. Which song would describe it best? Does the theme song count? Yes. Golden Girls. Yeah. <laughs> golden girls <laughs> yeah golden girls mm. what are some songs that you know almost every lyric to headlines drake um lil wayne bill gates most beyonce songs cheetah girls i'll just like <laughs> Future March Madness. Playing that at my wedding. I don't care what nobody say. She for real too. I'm walking in on that one. Me and my me and my husband walking in on that one. We gonna be in there getting it. Okay. Favorite restaurant? Chatters. Applebee's. And judge your mama, not me. We went to Applebee's today too. <laughs> mama cheap date. Absolutely. No, that was that $12.50 margarita that you won. That the most expensive thing on the dog ticket. <laughs> she ain't no cheap date. Is the best soda. Dr. Coke. Dr. Pepper. Coke. And why? Coke. Dr. Pepper got 23 flavors. And it's sweet. Coke. Dr. Pepper. Coke. Dr. Pepper. Coke, and I don't need to explain it. Coke. <laughs> She from Georgia, y'all. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Put an Alabama shirt on. <laughs> Sis, I drink Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper be sponsoring all their games. Okay. It's the drink of college football. Would you love rather live in the ocean or in space? I can't swim. I can't space. swim in space. <laughs> Just be floating. Ho ho hopefully. Just be floating around flipping in the ho air. Hopefully it works out. Good. Mm-mm. I can't swim. I'm sorry, I ain't doing no ocean. Mm -mm. What's something embarrassing that you did as a child? My whole childhood did. Uh, <laughs> something embarrassing I did as a child? Hmm. Girl. We was together a lot. Yeah, I don't see that way. I don't know. So I have to do something that we both did. Right. So I don't have anything in there. I, not that I can think of. Um, we ain't got nothing. We ain't okay. got nothing. What's your favorite flavor of water? Red Callaway. That's brand. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Flavor, as in the powder that you pour in it. Mm mm. Get somebody else to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal light, a purple one, whatever it is. Grape. Mm. Just like black folks. Grape, red, <laughs> purple. <laughs> I drink I drink my Callaway blue water the way it was meant for me to drink. What's your go to cereal? Frosted Flakes, they're great. I don't do cereal over here, sorry. She and if I do... She lied, when we was little, she lived on them little talking Rice Krispies. <laughs> she lived off of that nasty cereal. And it got and it had to be loaded with sugar. And it, and she wanted them to talk. She liked them little talking cereal. Stop playing. Nasty cereal. I don't like that cereal to this day. 
Mm -mm, they talk too much. <laughs> Tell them to shut up. What were one of the best moments of your life? Graduating high school because I thought I was never going to make it. Best moments of my life. Graduation test tore me up. So graduating high school is one of my best moments. Graduating high school, graduating college with my bachelor's and graduating with my first master's and now we'll be graduating with my second master's. So yes, graduating school because I'd be ready to dip up out of that. So yeah, my best moment. Best moment are my kids. That's it. Okay. Sum it all into one. Look at her. My kids are my everything. <laughs> Girls, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. All right, y'all. This video already been over 30 minutes. So, we're going to cut it right here. Make sure y'all go over to my sister's channel. Just Miss J. And y'all subscribe. Get her subscribers up. Help her sister out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up that video. Hit that notification bell so you never miss when I post. Because I don't have a schedule. So, you'd be better off hitting the notification bell so you catch it. And hearing about what's going on in my life, minus the kids. All right. And then make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe this video here on my channel. And help me get my likes up. Thumbs up her video too. Please do. And hit her notification bell too. Because, yeah, say I, I was supposed to post it twice a, a week. I don't follow that schedule. So, I decided to look nice in my bio. <laughs> So, I post what I feel like it. So, with that being said, you may see her again. You may see her on my channel. <laughs> the thing is, we don't live in the same city, so you may see her again. No. So, we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.